Welcome to Imaginary Realms of the AI Crafted Chronicles, a podcast where we dive into a universe of enthralling stories and enchanting worlds brought to life by the power of artificial intelligence. A master thief targets a priceless sapphire, only to face a rival thief in a high stakes game of deception and cunning. Securing the gem demands exceptional skills, but escaping unscathed may require the artistry of a true master. The luxurious mansion's doors opened, revealing resplendent chandeliers and the soft murmur of high society guests. Victor, a skilled and cunning thief, slipped seamlessly into the crowd, wearing a borrowed tuxedo and a confident smile. Ah, the Vermeer Sapphire, he thought, as he spotted the gemstone shimmering under a glass case. He knew that his plan to swap the sapphire with a convincing fake would require perfect timing and finesse. Victor engaged in small talk near the bar. An elegant woman in pearls turned to him and asked, So, what brings you to the auction? He raised his champagne flute with a smug grin. I'm a fan of beautiful things, and I'm particularly drawn to the sapphire's allure. It's hard to resist, don't you think? She smiled, intrigued and replied with a soft, lilting voice. Indeed. It's not every day one gets the opportunity to be in the presence of such a rare gem. Victor's eyes darted around the room, noting the security personnel and their patrol patterns. He feigned surprise as he bumped into a man in a tailored suit who was holding a bidding paddle. Apologies, sir. I didn't see you there, Victor said, as he discreetly pocketed the man's paddle. No harm done, the man replied his deep voice resonating with authority. As the auctioneer took the stage, Victor felt the familiar thrill of adrenaline. The tension in the room grew palpable as the auction commenced. Suddenly, Victor noticed a familiar face in the crowd, one he hadn't seen in years. Isabella, a rival thief who was notorious for her bold heists. Their eyes locked for a moment, and Victor could see she was just as surprised to see him. He realized she must be after the sapphire, too. Victor approached Isabella, trying to appear casual as they exchanged tense pleasantries. Isabella, it's been a while. What brings you here? Victor asked, his voice dripping with false enthusiasm. I could ask you the same, she replied, her voice sultry yet menacing. I didn't expect to find you at a charity auction. I've always had a soft spot for art, he quipped attempting to mask his growing unease. Isabella smirked. Well, I hope we don't find ourselves in a bidding war. Victor forced a laugh. May the best bidder win. With the auction in full swing, Victor knew he had to act quickly. He kept an eye on Isabella as he slipped away, expertly maneuvering through the crowd to position himself close to the sapphire. As the auctioneer announced the gemstone, Victor subtly raised the stolen paddle, placing the winning bid. The room erupted in applause as Victor approached the stage, feigning delight. The security guard unlocked the glass case to hand Victor the sapphire for a closer look. Victor seized the opportunity, quickly swapping the gemstone with the fake, his fingers moving with practiced precision. Isabella watched from a distance, her eyes narrowing in suspicion. She walked over to Victor, her voice low and tense. Impressive, but I'm curious to see how you plan on getting away with this. Victor, caught off guard, replied, What are you talking about? I won fair and square. Isabella smiled, an icy glint in her eyes. I've always admired your talent for deception, but don't underestimate me. Victor tensed, realizing that the stakes had just been raised. He casually walked back towards the bar, keeping the sapphire hidden in his pocket, and asked the bartender for another glass of champagne. Isabella kept her eyes on Victor unwilling to let him out of her sight. Victor had to think quickly, knowing she was a formidable opponent. He spotted a man across the room with a similar build to his own and hatched a plan. As the man walked towards the bar, Victor accidentally bumped into him, spilling champagne on the man's suit. Oh, I'm so sorry, Victor apologized profusely, patting the man's chest with a napkin as he discreetly slipped the stolen paddle into the man's pocket. The man, annoyed but forgiving, replied in a thick accent, It's fine. Accidents happen. Victor rejoined Isabella, giving her a knowing smile. You know, I can't help but feel like you're keeping an eye on me, Isabella. She scoffed. Well, I wouldn't want you to feel lonely, would I? 
The auction continued and the guests were becoming increasingly absorbed in the excitement. Victor knew this was his chance. He caught the attention of a nearby security guard and said, I believe the gentleman at the bar took my bidding paddle. He's wearing a suit just like mine. The security guard nodded, heading towards the bar to investigate. Victor watched as the guard confronted the man, finding the stolen paddle in his pocket. As the commotion unfolded, Victor slipped away, heading towards the mansion's exit. Isabella, realizing what Victor had done, hurried after him, but was momentarily delayed by the crowd. Victor made his way outside, breathing a sigh of relief as he disappeared into the shadows. The tension of the night began to dissipate as he realized he had successfully outmaneuvered Isabella and the security. Isabella finally reached the exit, her frustration evident. She looked around, trying to spot Victor, but it was too late. He had vanished, along with the Vermeer Sapphire. In the days following the auction, the news was filled with stories about the daring heist. Victor's plan had been flawlessly executed, and the Sapphire remained hidden from the world. Victor couldn't help but wonder if the thrill of the chase was worth the danger and deceit. The unforeseen circumstances had tested his skills and resolve, making him question the true value of the gem and the life he had chosen 